audio achievement. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Batman Arkham Knight. Everybody's gone to the rapture. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant. My own family. Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. <laughs> Star Wars Battlefront. The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. The BAFTA is awarded to... Everybody's Gone to the Rapture! Well, they've sent me out front to talk about this, but yes, um, wow, what an incredible honor. Um, I can't quite believe it. Um, yeah, I want to thank everyone that contributed to the audio. The entire team was a big part of it. Everyone at Sony Audio, there's Keith, Peith, uh, Keith, Pete, Keith Pete, Joel, Eric, uh, Rob, Scott, just everyone there. Um, and everyone at Side, all the wonderful performers, the musicians, uh, everyone that just made it such a great, wonderful soundtrack. And uh, thank you to Dan and Jess for bringing me along on this crazy ride. It's been incredible. So thank you very much. Congratulations, two-time BAFTA award winner tonight already for Everybody's Gone to the Rapture with music and audio achievements. I'm honestly so happy for you because like, I remember playing the game and I, I had goosebumps. Like, oh. The music was just incredible. Oh, thank you so much. That means so much to me. I'm slightly overwhelmed at the moment. <laughs> I mean, are you glad now, it, it seems you are, that, that, that game music is beginning to sort of be seen on the same level as scoring films? Because I mean, film composers and scorers, they're household names. Uh, and and they rightly receive those accolades, but it's, games have taken a while to catch up. Do you, do you feel that the craft is, is, is getting there now? I absolutely do. I think it's had its struggles. It's still a relatively young medium, but actually I think what we're seeing now is composers that start in games and not coming from other genres where they're kind of trying to retrofit and squeeze their work in. We have people who actually understand the technical and creative requirements of writing music for games. It's an extraordinarily good year this year I still can't believe out of the amazing you know Austin Winter he's oh, gay he's music so royalty incredible. he's gorgeous and lovely <laughs> um, Gareth Coker we had it's a you know it's amazing it's coming into its own yeah absolutely I mean what, what for you is the most difficult part of that process because there are so many different aspects that you just don't have to consider in other mediums I think for me it was the fact that it was an open world game was a right. huge creative challenge actually because even with the games that I'd written for music before for the Chinese Room, um, they were more of corridor type experiences right. so you kind of knew the journey mm -hmm. that the player was going to take. When the player can literally go Turn in around and walk away. direction, yeah. um, it's actually really, really difficult to provide a meaningful score yeah. and actually I kind of went less towards the interactive side of it and thought just write music right. that people are going to want to listen to that is yeah. beautiful and deep. You achieved and, that for and, sure. Well, I had amazing musicians. I recorded at Air Studios. Oh it was basically a dream come true for a composer. <laughs> I'm like Miss World. I'd like to yeah. thank God, <laughs> my children. It's not just a dream come true. I love animals. It's a double dream come true. It is true. a double dream. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us and oh, congratulations. You. You I deserve can't it believe it. So it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get so that glass much. of wine. Though. Thank you. Cheers.
And the BAFTA for story goes to Life is Strange.